All right, and we're out trying to give an estimate for this house, but it's a little unsafe. And a lot of my videos, I don't wear a harness all the time for giving estimates, repairs, and things like that, because I say it's my life. But that doesn't make me dumb. This is a two-story, it's quite a big fall. It's covered in snow and ice, so I'm not going up there. I'm gonna show you guys how you can actually measure for a roof. This is a simple one, so it'd be easy to point out the concepts. Just the same if it's more cut up, but a little more detailed and a little more work involved. Simple hip house, probably about a 512, 412 pitch. Snow covered, we're gonna measure this one from the ground, but it's always good if you're a contractor to go meet your homeowners if they're there. That way, if they have any questions, they can answer them, they can meet you, they can see you, they can kind of get an idea on a feel for your brand. That's ultimately what you're trying to do. Provide a good service and a good brand. Let them meet you if they have any. If they have any questions, answer them. But uh, this is vacant, so we're just here giving it. Like I said, I'm not going up. We're gonna measure it from the ground. I've got my... Uh, 300 foot tape here. I've got a screwdriver, just duct taped. Another purpose for duct tape. Just duct tape to it and I'll show you. I'm gonna put the GoPro on up here and I'll take you along. Should only take a minute or two to measure this out. And I will give you some tips, tricks, and pointers maybe, some things to keep an eye on or thought of. And uh, yeah, hope you enjoy the video. Let's get into it. All right, so now that I've got the uh, GoPro on, it is a walkout basement. I don't want to slide off up here, like I said, so I'm going to show you from the ground. But it does go up to one story in the front, and I'll show you some other things up there real quick. There's a driveway here. I can't stick it in the ground, so we're going to jump over to this side real quick. Dang, my fingers are getting cold. So you're just kind of looking for the edge of the gutter here, and you're going to go, boom, right into the ground, kind of squaring up off it. You, know, you don't want to be short this way. You don't want to be past, but if you're going to air out maybe slightly this way, um, a tip on measuring homes, if you're a contractor, a lot of the times, you know, in your county, they might have public records, tax records, things like that. You can kind of get square footage of a home, but that can kind of give you a false reading for a roof. So, for example, hypothetically, if this was a 2,000 square foot home and I can see a picture from the county in the front, it looked like a one story. That's going to throw you off on your square footage. So I don't recommend that. Maybe give you an idea, but walk out basement, you don't know. So 1,000 square foot, 1,000 square foot. You might think it's 2,000 square foot roof-ish when it's half of that because they're counting two floors here. Or maybe gutter, uh, garages, things like that aren't, you know, whatever. The other thing I'll point out, they're measuring square footage of the home, not counting eave overhang. So if you have a larger eave overhang, it's going to air you out. That's why it's always good to actually look from a two-dimension satellite image or a picture, figure in your, your pitch factor, or go to it in, in person, better yet. If you can't get on the roof, what we're doing here is just stick it in the ground, walk it out parallel to the roof. Now, if you beeline it out that way, it may give you, well, not may, it'll give you an error. <clears throat> and uh, I'm going to step back just so I can see it here. I'm just kind of squaring up, so I'm looking down that gutter that way. And we're going to look at our measurement here. 69 feet. Is my GoPro out? Yeah, 69 feet. It's kind of hard to see because of this bush right here, but if you're looking down, I'm going to go with 69. So 69 feet. Let's reel this in. And then what you're going to do is get the other direction going that way, since it's just a hip house rectangle it's been an easy one to show you <clears throat> we'll walk back up to where i set the ladder show you a couple things there i also when i'm here doing this since i do estimates in a pretty wide area i'll take pictures from all sides of the house that way if we ever get the call like hey they want to move forward with this if i have a question on say pipe boots and things i can reference the photos i can see there's a three inch there's a, a b vent flue pipe furnace or something but they got a regular flashing pipe two vents ridge cap that's everything you can see from a photo on this side i've already done this just a minute ago off camera and uh realized that the roof was covered in very slick stuff so i'm not going up there so we're looking down the gutter square up with it that's a good little trick i like right there and then run up here just look down the gutter here and we're at uh, 36, so what is it, 89 by 36? Before I forget that, because my memory is very bad. 36, what did I say, 89? God, I already forgot. I'll have to go back to the camera and reference it, but I'm just gonna take a guess here. It was uh, 
69 i'm gonna say 69 89 is way too big i have to watch my video back because i'm so bad i'm thinking oh, i'm gonna shoot for the camera for you guys and i think i screwed up on my number but i'm gonna go with 69 watch the video back or i'll just run back there again real quick that'd be easiest thing to do because i'm gonna figure this here in a minute in the truck it was 36 by 69 So for all you guys that comment on the worst roof evers, despite everything that's bad on the worst roof evers, your hiccup is that I lean a gutter or my ladder on the gutter. You know, if you don't like it, don't watch the video. Leave the channel, it's not gonna bother me. All right, the reason I'm not getting up there is that's covered in sleet, snow, and ice. Even a fairly low slope of a four, you're gonna slide off it. Not gonna get hurt. What I'm after is finding the pitch of the roof, how many layers the roof is, overall idea the condition of the decking so we're going to look at here three tab it's a good point to know if you're figuring for trash removal you can kind of get an idea of the three tab weight versus a dimensional weight also how many granules are missing if you can see the roof that's a factor making it lighter but you have kind of a, a rough idea of what your trailer weight is going to be from a job like this or dumpster cost whatever yeah it looks like they emptied this house out so we're gonna do our best to get under here and look. Looking under here, looks like one layer I'm gonna feel that feels like paper. It doesn't feel like there's something else under it. Gotta be careful because this gutter guard's sharp. Ideally, what you like to do is actually lift the edge metal up a little bit and peek under there. So we're just gonna pull this out. It's a vacant home being redone by an investor, so I'm not worried about that. And looking under there, it is indeed one layer. I see black paper and I see one by. I don't know if you can see in there, it's one by. Let's get this roll back under there. I'm sure I'll get hateful comments on that right there. But the roof's gonna get done, more than likely. Whether it's by us or not, I don't know. <laughs> Alright, pitch. I, I'm thinking it's about a 412. If you're not sure, air out on the slightly higher side. Let me open up my phone here. <clears throat> okay pitch gauge you can get these for free typically here's one i got it simply uses the accelerometers and compasses and things sensors in your phone to tell the pitch you just lay this up on the roof like that 3.8 i'll also point out if you've got a slight hump let's say right there you typically not down here because it's kicked out let's show you on this one right here you want to put it flat on a shingle so you can get an accurate reading. It's about a 3.5, 3.3. It's a 412 pitch, in my opinion. If you were to go up on that one, it give you another reading. But if you were to shove this up so it's pivoting in the middle of your phone to the lower corner, it's going to air it out. You know, you could really air out like that. That's an exaggeration. I'm just showing you here. So watch where you're getting your readings. It's not rocket science. You're just getting an idea. So you can figure in your pitch factor for an accurate measurement of your squareage. Most roofs, rule of thumb, I will do a 10% uh, waste factor. I don't build for the waste factor. I'll just get an overall squareage of the roof and that's what I figure my uh, my cost on, um, plus accessories. Some guys do, some guys don't. Some guys might be like, oh, well, you know, we're not paying for accessories. Well, that's fine. The companies that don't, they're just gonna charge slightly more for their roof cost. Because the bottom line, they gotta cover all the material to do the job. So doesn't matter how you slice the pie, the pie is the same size. If that gives you any idea, sorry. Sorry for the little rant there, but uh, let's see here. Pictures all around the house, you know, you have an idea. You're gonna keep in mind of things like the chimney, what kind of condition it is, even though it's got, looks like copper, it's oxidized green, it's got a nasty tar all the way around it. Uh, it's not going to look good to me. We may redo that. So just keep that in mind as a time. Uh, also, one buys. That tells me it's going to be pretty solid. They could be gapped. They could be splintered. So you got to watch that. Some areas where you're watching may have strict codes on that, deck inspections. So maybe if you know that's in your area, keep a light item for redecking it because you don't know. Or if you can get into the house, see the underneath side. That's another way of getting around that. Um, you know, if they're broken, splintered, gapped, and cracked, you're not going to want to keep that. Uh, also, labor to tear off in one buys. It's going to go slower. Pulling the nails out of the one buys, man, they are held in there. So just keep that in mind as a factor. Just all these little things to just point out. Maybe it'll help you keep your uh, mind open to some of these things here. 
So split boot on the riser pulse. You don't need to contact the, our local energy company's Duke to kill the power if it needs to be redone. I'm not gonna smear tar around that. We're better than that. We're gonna pay for a, it's like a 35, 38, $40 split boot, retro boot for those. It's a great product. It just, again, it sets you above the other competition that's just gonna smear tar around it. All right. <sighs> Yeah, to address some of those guys that like to hate on the channel about the comms to be resting on here, if we're going to do the job, there's going to be a bar they make that goes in the gutter to protect the gutter or a board nailed to the roof to hold this out. Um, I'm on roofs all day, every day, so using a kick out just to do something quick like this, it might be mounted up here and hooks onto these rungs. You got to take it off and do these rungs. You know, if you got a customer that addresses it, by all means, I'll do it. But something quick like this, it's just going to rest here for a minute to access the roof, and I'm down and done. So if it uh, pisses you off, then sorry. Like I said, don't watch the channel. This is for those people that maybe want to learn some tips and tricks and some helpful, useful things. If that bothers you, bye-bye. I'm here to help. You run your business how you want, or you get on your roof how you want. This is how I do it. Oh, uh, let's see. Is there anything I forgot to mention here? Um, pitch factor, how to measure it from the ground, pictures from around the sides here, uh, just document it all. Oh, there's my uh, notepad I dropped that a minute ago. Oh, uh, yeah. So anyway, I'm going to jump in the truck because my fingers are red and cold and freezing. I'm going to get this figured up for this investor, send it off to him. It's a Sunday. I actually don't normally work on Sunday, but this one wasn't far from me and I'm backed up a little bit. So I had to get out here, get it done for you. Um, I think you guys I'm writing this for watching. Hey. I gotta keep names and addresses and things anonymous so I can't say, but you know who you are, appreciate it. Let's uh, get out of here. I gotta get back to my family. As I said, it was Sunday. Hope the video helped. Hopefully you learned something from it. If it did, please, for the YouTube algorithm, give it a thumbs up, consider subscribing, and the bell notification. I don't actually say why, but if you're not uh, subscribed, then shame on you. If you are, thank you, but you might be missing some of the future video uploads because there's a, uh, bell notifier off to the side. I haven't explored a lot, but if you click it, it gives you like three options. You can choose how you're notified on all or some or something like that, but it'll notify you in your uh, feed line if you uh, subscribed when I upload one. So make sure you hit that. Thumbs up, make it blue, please. Greatly appreciate it. If you're one of those know-it-alls or the haters, I'm sorry I can't help you. All right, quick wrap up to the video. I'm still here at the house. Here she is. We'll be as quick as I possibly can here. So I measured the roof from a 2D dimension. You get that right here. What I did just off camera is 36 by 69. It's 36 deep and 69 wide. Multiply those together, 2484. That is the 2D dimension. You're going to need to take into account the pitch factor. Like I said, I keep this right up here on my laptop. So as a rise, as a 4, come over. Multiplier is a 1.054. There's that number, you're gonna take your 2D dimension, multiply it by your pitch factor, comes up with 2618. I know that's not a big difference, just about a square, a little more than a square, but it's because it's a lower slope. The steeper the roof is, the more it's gonna be off. So make sure you check your pitch factors, keep that in mind, kind of like that house back there, it's got some steep sides. So to wrap up and summarize here, you got your pitch factor, you got that, oh, paid for software, roof snap. This is not a sponsored video, but I wanna talk about roof snap real quick here. Here is my paid for software that I did this, uh, ooh, not Google, go back to that one. Okay, so right here we've got the actual measurement on my paid for software, 2612. If you look at this one here, 2618, I mean, that's pretty pretty accurate. In my book, that is, that's good. That's plenty to figure this from. So 2612, you come over here. Oh, I have such a bad glare on here. Uh, they give you a nice waste factor. By the way, I only bill the customer for actual plus accessories. But the waste factors for ordering material 2812 i know it's an arbitrary number 7.75 but they use their algorithm and they know like the different sizes and features based on what you sketch what you chose i typically always figure a 10 percent at least and more cut up the house is the more underlying valleys cut off hips things like that i will use a, a larger number it becomes pre-populated uh, it gives you nice features down here on how to figure different things you know, like how much material to order for say ice and water, ridge vent, just different things like that. It is pretty good software. At the time of the video shooting, I pay about hundred bucks a month, unlimited reports. You gotta put just a little bit of work into it. I try to do a lot of these ahead of time. That way I can spend more time uh, talking to the customer, answering questions, or in this case, no one's here, um, verifying like one measurement, see how accurate it is, how much uh, layer count, wood, conditions like that. 
Um, if you can't get good imagery from them, because I think they might use like an API with Google and obtain their imagery from there, it's not always good. Sometimes you can get premium reports by a third party, third company that they link up with, uh, use credits. But uh, so if you don't want to pay for this software and you're just a homeowner, I'll plug a card up here for Google Maps, how you can learn to do it for free, provided you got good imagery. It's a less popular video, so let's you know help me make it popular. Go check it out, watch it through, give it a thumbs up. If you get any good value out of this video, please give it a thumbs up. Make that thumbs up button turn blue. Comment down below. Let me know what it is you learned, what you benefit from, and uh, just help me. The more engagement this channel gets, this video gets, these videos get, the more YouTube passes it to another viewer base out there. And ultimately, that's what I'm trying to do is share the info. So I want to share it with a lot of people out there. Do your part. Give it a thumbs up. Comment down below. Let me know. I try to read them all. I try to answer them all back. Uh, if you can't get get imagery from this, also check out Eagle View. Eagle View is a good software um, service provider that you basically put your address in, you pay for it. They will figure the report based on their stuff. Really good, but it is a little pricey. Um, anyway, hopefully you uh, liked the video. Thumbs up. Until next time, be safe, and we'll see you on the next one.